Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm answering question number five from the October 2020 C12 C12 paper. And this question is linked to the P2 uh, specification, the new P2 specification. And remember, C12 is the old specification which included P1 and P2 material together in one exam. Now we've got P1 and P2 separate exams, and this particular question is related to P2 style question on integration. Um, and this is a typical new type of question which normally comes up with the trapezium rule, although in this particular question, um, the trapezium rule part is not here. Um, it's, it's, but it's a similar type of style of question to what we see as the, the latter parts of the trapezium rule questions in the late, last few years. Uh, this is also question number nine from my end of topic worksheet on integration on P2, which are the students who are um, you know, at school who, who have that worksheet, they might... Um, looking at that point when they're taking that worksheet so there's also question nine from that now this question here tells us figure one shows a sketch of the curve with the equation y equals four over the square root of x where x is greater than zero all right now they've told us the region r which is shown shaded in figure one is bounded by the curve by the line with the equation x equals four and the line with the equation x equals a where a is a constant that's greater than four so a is a number that's greater than four okay Given that the area of R is 9 units, so the area of R is 9 units, so they told us the area of this section, we've first got to find, in its simplest form, the numerical value of the, the, the integral of 4 over root 3x with respect to x between a and 4. So you can see there's some sort of difference between what we've got here and what we have to find the integral of. Now we know that from the information they've given us, that the integral between a and 4 of 4 over the square root of x with respect to x is equal to 9. Okay, that's what they've told us. All right, they've told us this. So I know that this area is equal to 9. Now we want to find what the integral of between a and 4 of 4 over the square root of 3x is. Now we could, um, we could find actually this integral um, you know, we can find the integral of 4 over, over, root, 3, over, over root 3x. We could find that if we wanted to. However, um, the problem is we don't have the value of a. So I can't find the integral of this directly. I mean, I could say this is like 4 times, and you can say, for example, um, 3x, or you could say, for example, 1 over root 3 times x to the power of negative a half. You could actually integrate this, but the problem is we don't know what a is, okay? And therefore, we cannot find the integral of this directly. Okay, We could find what A is, actually, which is part B of the question. We could find what A is. Using this information here, we could find it. However, there's a much quicker way of doing this. And that is to try to, and this is where it's linked to the questions that we do have on trapezium rule in certain other types of questions. If you look at the play, playlist, you'll see the, those type of questions. We can try to rewrite this 4 over the square root of 3x. Okay in a form that has 4 over root x with it. So if I, uh, this is all over, over root x, I want to write it as something times 4, or something, you know, something related to 4 over root x. Because I know what the integral of 4 over root x between a and 4 is, 9. So if I can express this in terms of something like this, then that will be quite easy. So I can think of this as 1 over root 3 times root x. Okay, this is the same as that. If I multiply this out, I'm going to get 4 over root 3 times root x, which is root 3x under the square root. Because we know that the square root of a times the square root of b is the same as the square root of a times b under one, one, one uh, square root sign. So this, this is the same as that. And we already have, we already know what the integral of this is between is f a and 4. So what I can do is I can say, let me rewrite this. Let me rewrite this. 4 over root 3, this is all under the square root sign, x. I can rewrite this as the square root between a and 4 of um, 1 over the square root of 3 times 4 over the square root of x with respect to x. All right. So now, all I have to do is, I know that, for example, if I have the integral of 2 times x with respect to x, it's the same as 2 times the integral of x with respect to x. I can write the constant outside this integral sign and it will give me the same answer in the end. So I can write this constant, which is 1 over the, the square root of 3. Time, I can write it times the integral of 4 over root x with respect to x between 4 and a. 
And we know that this is equal to 9. We know 4 over root x is equal to 9. The integral of 4 over root x with respect to x between a and 4 is equal to 9 because they've told us that in this question. They say the area of this, okay, between, between a and 4, this function um, is equal to 9. So that means when you integrate this, you substitute a and 4 into the integral, you're going to get 9. Okay, so now we can see that this is going to be the same as 1 over the square root of 3 times 9, which is 9 over root 3. We want to write it in the simplest form. You could just stick it in your calculator, or you should understand how to rationalize the denominator. It would be 9 times root 3 over 3. They cancel out. You're left with 3 times root 3 square units. That's the area okay, of what they ask us to find here, 4 over the square root of 3x dx. Okay, so there's part A part 1 uh, done. Now we're going to go on to A part 2. Now it says um, we've got to find the integral of 4 over root x between a and 1. Okay, now we know the integral between a and 4 of 4 over root x. This is what we, we were told is equal to 9. Okay, between a and 4. We want to, we want to go all the way back to 1. So we need to go back to here. Let's say we go back to here. It's not really to scale. I don't know what the scale is here. So let's say we want to find the whole of this area as well now. So I'm going to call this, for example, um, area 1. Right? I know that um, the whole of this is equal to the area 1 plus r. Okay? The area 1 plus r. Okay? So I know already the integral. I can say that this is going to be the same as 4 over root x with respect to x is equal to between a and 4. 4 over root x dx plus, and then I'm going to have the area between 4 and 1 over 4 the times 4 over root x with respect to x. If I find that, I find the whole area. I know this part is 9. This part of it is equal to 9. We know that already. Okay, so we now need to find the area of this part. So let's just take this part on its own. We have 4, 1. I'm going to get this ready for integration by writing as 4x to the power of a half with respect to x. This is, not, this is not something that we do not know how to integrate. We do know how to integrate it. We don't have to use a trapezium rule or anything. That's something that we can integrate. And to integrate this, you have to add 1 to the power. So you have 4x to the power of positive a half. Divide by the new power. So you divide by a half. Okay, and then we don't have to write plus c because this is a different integral. We have the de this is a definite integral, sorry. And that means we have to substitute these values of 4 and 1 in there. Now, before I'm going to do that, I'm going to write this in a more friendly way. 4 divided by half is like 4 times 2. So this is 8. And x to the power of a half is like the square root of x. That's just an easy way to, to substitute values in between 4 and 1. So that's going to give me 8 times the square root of 4 um, minus 8 times the square root of 1, which is 8 times 2, which is 16, minus 8 times 1, which is 8. Okay, so 16 minus 8 is 8. So that's 8 square units. So therefore, our integral that we're looking for um, between a and 1, between a and 1 of 4 over root x dx is equal to 9 plus 8, which is 17 square units. Okay, because this is the first part, 9, and we just found that part is equal to 16. So it's equal to 8. So 9 plus 8 is 17. So 17 square units is the answer for this question of part um, 2 of question 5a. Now, then it says for part b, find the exact value of a. Okay, so we know from the first part of the question that the integral between a and 4 of 1 of 4 over root x with respect to x is equal to 9. That's what we know. So we can set this up. We already integrated this expression that, that gave us 8 times the square root of x. We have a and 4, and that's going to give us 9. Let's make sure that that's correct. Yeah, 8 times root x. So we already integrated this expression, but now we have the limits a and 4. And we know when we substitute these values in to that, we're going to get 9 as our area. Okay, so for, for, for that, we can now find what a is. So we have a, 8 times the square root of a minus 8 times the square root of 4 is equal to 9. So this is like a time, 8 times the square root of 8. 8 times the square root of 8 minus 8 times 2, which is 16, is equal to 9. So 8 times root a is equal to 9 plus 16, which is 25. 
So we can say root a is equal to 25 divided by 8. Okay, therefore we can say a is equal to, we've got to square both sides here. So it's a equals 25 over 8 all squared. So we have um, 25 over 8 all squared, which gives us 625 over 64. They said exact value, so it's best to leave it like this. No point in rounding it. it said find the exact value of A. Okay, so no, no point, point right as a decimal or rounding it. It's fine to leave it like this. This is 65, 625 over 64 square units. That's the answer. That's the value of, not sorry, not square units, what I'm talking about. We didn't into, we, we, that's not the area. That's the value of A. Sorry about that. Be careful there. That's the value of A, so not square units. It's just the number. That's a number at that point. That's a number that is over there. That when you integrate this expression between that number and four, it gives you nine as your area. Okay, so there's the answer to part B. So this is kind of like, um, you know, similar to, as I said, some of those trapezium rule times questions, for especially part one and two, especially part one, actually. Okay, and it's just, um, you know, applications of this integration, definite integration in P2. Okay, so th that's the answer to this question. I hope that was clear. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area over here. Um, other questions from integration in general of P2 can be found in this playlist. The um, end of topic worksheet that this question is from can be found in the playlist that's linked in this um, section here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.